Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to item number 991054. Lot number 28, Utah Drive. Again, item number 991054. Lot 28, Utah Drive. This one is gonna be 70 feet across the front, 216 feet back my left side. The rear is gonna be 70 feet also across the back. And then we're gonna come up 211 feet. So it's kind of an angled lot. Back to our far corner over here, our right-hand side corner. Lori's gonna go ahead and give you a quick pan. I'm gonna sneak my way into the lot and see what it holds for us. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is 14,945 square feet. Total of 0.34 of an acre. Cheyenne Edition, Utah Drive, Cherokee Village, Arkansas, home of seven lakes, six swimming pools. Uh, the lakes, I got to tell you, we actually saw people this morning fishing in Lake Sequoia. We're going to get you some footage of some of the lakes in your B-roll. It's living it and loving it here in Arkansas, I got to tell you. Gorgeous fall day. We're about the third week of October. We're finally starting to see a whole bunch of fall color four natural seasons abound here in Cherokee Village. Spring and fall being your longest and loveliest. It's again, third week of October. We've got such a beautiful breeze, ladies and gentlemen. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. We've got a couple of long sleeve layers on, but very lightweight overall. And this is exceptional property on a beautiful day. We're gonna meet you on the inside again, 0.34 of an acre, and here we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I walked in and there were a few little trees right behind my marker, my sign, but I gotta tell you, I am literally eh, just a hair over halfway across your lot. And I gotta show you the natural opening right behind me. Check this out. It is, look at how gorgeous this lot is just from the road, ladies and gentlemen. You've got some beautiful fall coloring right here in the trees in front of us. You have gorgeous mature trees all around us, but I can just imagine coming in and possibly having a little bit of a walkway. Actually, I'd probably put my driveway over on this, at this side right here, maybe. I don't know, you might have to take out a few of your trees regardless. This one right here could come out, ladies and gentlemen. He's actually already seen his better day. Ooh, there's a, look, there's a caterpillar, fuzzy, fuzzy caterpillar. This one, the top's already off, ladies and gentlemen, but you could kind of swing your driveway maybe through here. I don't know, I'm not an architect, you'd have to ask. Or maybe right through here if you cleared this one off and kind of give you a nice circular drive into this lot. Yeah, I think I would take just this one tree out. If it were me, try to preserve this beautiful baby, come in at an angle, and I would go right there and directly behind me is a fabulous area to clear out for building. And we're gonna kind of show you what we mean. And you know, another lovely thing that I noticed in Arkansas is a lot of people have actually winding driveways so that they can kind of go around the trees. That's another fabulous thought, ladies and gentlemen, because again, your far marker is way over here. And then your, your beginning marker where we started, excuse me, is to the right of me now that I'm facing you. And your end is right over here, uh, maybe 20 feet on this side over here, ladies and gentlemen, 20, 25 feet. But again, coming in here, this is a small tree you can take out. This is a small one you can take out. All this area right here is nothing but small trees. What a perfect area to build, ladies and gentlemen, because you have nothing but small trees kind of clearing. This right here, right behind me, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful level buildable lot, but I gotta love these fall colors that are surrounding me. Sometimes with the taller trees, you can't see it on camera, but you can see some of the smaller ones, so we hope you get all those fall colors. But again, we're gonna kinda make our way into the center of the lot. It keeps going and going, ladies and gentlemen. We have 216 feet down the left-hand side, 211 feet down the right-hand side, and here we go. Let's check it out. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that we are all about two thirds of the way into the lot. We're very, very getting close to being able to see that back marker. I wanted to give you yet a quick another little pan here. We're gonna go ahead and give you a 360 shot kind of in this area right here because most of your lot is gonna be behind me. There's a slight bit behind the camera lady, Miss Lori, but uh, this right here again, absolute beautiful level area i can see very easily there might be multiple building spots on here it all depends it is totally your imagination as to what trees you want what style house you build whether you do single story by level tri level when you're here in cherokee village we've seen all different types of homes one thing i love about this area is it is not cookie cutter at all your imagination can literally be your dream and let me tell you something your natural setting this is absolutely gorgeous it is so beautiful here right now i cannot even express to you how comfortable and how beautiful our surroundings are today i mean i am in total awe but we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna let her give you a few shots i'm still trying to find your marker and i'll see you in a few Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back here at the far left hand uh, marker for lot 28. Again, lot 27 is gonna be on this side of the marker. Lot 28 is gonna be on this side of the marker. We kind of whirled our way back here. You've got 0.34 of an acre. And again, I wanna point out just how gorgeous your view is behind us. The lot does slightly slope in the rear. So when you do have snow or rain or whatnot, it's all gonna go away from your property and it's naturally gonna drift this way. In the very back of this property, you can kind of see some creeks and canyons, if you will. Not really a canyon, but my pet word. But you can, that right there is gonna allot you a lot, a lot of natural beauty certain times a year as well as all the animals coming in for their drinking and feeding needs we're going to go ahead and make our way down this way right here again the rear of this property is also 70 feet down and then we're going to come back up the right hand side 211 feet that's going to bring us out back to utah drive 14,945 square feet total of 0.34 of an acre and here we go Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're walking down the back border of your property. Now, not only does it slant down behind you, but it does kind of come down to a, a little bit of a slant toward this back rear marker. What I'm doing is I'm actually following the barbed wire fence with the old ranch style post to make sure that I am literally staying on the boundary of your property. Again, it's 70 feet down the rear of this property, ladies and gentlemen. Item number 9910054, lot number 28, Utah Drive. So basically, here's our old fence post. You can see the marker, you can see the barbed wire fence, you can see the knots in it. Again, this is weather, this is welcome to the forest, ladies and gentlemen, but right here it is. So what I do wanna point out behind me, I am looking and I'm seeing some, uh, it, it's like a baby oak hickory uh, farm or something. I'm seeing so many little trees behind me. Of course, you have your big granddaddies and whatnot, but I'm just gonna kind of walk up here and kind of show you. You've got a baby sapling here, baby sapling here. You've got little babies coming up here. And then literally as far as I can see up here, you've got a ton of baby saplings totally up to you whether or not you want to keep these ladies and gentlemen but I got to tell you kind of in between there if you were to take some of the saplings out you might have yet another gorgeous building spot we're going to go ahead and make our way back up to the front of Utah Drive and we're going to just check it out and see what kind of area we've got here we go baby sapling baby sapling 
Now it does level off, it does table off up here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna go ahead and let you kind of follow us up the hill. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so basically I'm coming back up the hill. This area right here is where your land lot starts leveling off just before me. But I wanted to kind of show you right here, we have a baby cedar, baby cedar. And then in front of me, look at all these baby saplings. Oh my gosh. It is just an entire field of baby saplings in front of me, ladies and gentlemen. Sporadic with a very, very huge granddaddy tree right in front of me. I don't know about you, but that might make a great feature on your property. I am thinking, I don't know, maybe a windy driveway would be kind of nice on this lot. Maybe kind of have it go back to a, a, a detached garage or something. I don't know. This lot is fascinating. It has so much character. It has so many trees. Oh, I just, I love it. I'm in awe. But we're going to go ahead and make our way back up. I want to kind of check this out and see what I got. I might be crawling through some baby saplings. Here we go. It's almost like they dispersed from the king's king tree. Grandpa. So just this area right here is just baby sapling, baby sapling. It almost looks like a natural farm, if you will. It's so cool. Wow. All right, here we go. Now it starts to clear up again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're making our way back up the right-hand side of this property again, 211 feet back to Idaho Drive, or excuse me, Utah Drive. And I guess I do want to point out right behind me, so the saplings that I was talking about, it's kind of like they're part on lot 28, and then they kind of feather off also on lot 29. But wow, it just looks like a like a mini natural tree farm, it's amazing. But here we come, I gotta love these lots. It is such a beautiful fall day. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I am looking at the most wonderful building spots, literally right behind me is a gorgeous building spot. Bringing your driveway in, There's, there are so many things, I gotta tell you. This one is unbelievable. It's almost limitless what you want to do with this lot. We're going to go ahead and head back out. The wind is picking up a little bit. We might try to get one more lot filmed today, maybe two, depending on our light. Our light's actually holding its own today, this morning, which is kind of why we had to film a little later in the afternoon. But I got to tell you, it really brightened up and it's gorgeous. And I hope that you guys are enjoying your show. Again, coming up, we're going to close out lot number 28. <coughs> Excuse me, Utah Drive coming up next, lot 29, but we'll see you at the end. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so again, we're making our way, winding our way through some of the smaller foliage. And again, it is fall, so there's a few, you know, branches and whatnot that are going to kind of fall off with fall. That just is what happens. But now we're back at the very, very far corner of item number 99104, excuse me, 054, lot number 28, Utah Drive, 14,945 square feet, 0.34 of an absolutely gorgeous land lot. I mean, stunning. Next, you're going to start seeing Lot number 29, item number 991055. But I do want to point out a few things. Again, fabulous things about Cherokee Village. There's a fire hydrant right behind our camera person, kind of catty corner across from lot number 29 there. Right above us, we've got overhead electric. You've got water coming right to each and every lot here in Cherokee Village. We're in the third week of October, very, very nice fall day. Utah Drive, Cheyenne Edition. Don't miss this auction. We've got more coming up and we'll see you soon.